Many people turn to artificial sweeteners like sucralose, also known as Splenda, to replace added sugars. However, while authorities and manufacturers claim that sucralose is safe to eat, some studies have linked it to health problems. In this video, I'm taking a look at its health effects, both good and bad. Sucralose is pretty much a zero calorie artificial sweetener, and Splenda is the most common sucralose based product. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's made from sugar in a multi-step chemical process where three hydrogen oxygen groups are replaced with chlorine atoms. It's actually 400 to 700 times sweeter than sugar and does not have a bitter aftertaste like many other popular sweeteners. So the first health effect we're looking at is blood sugar and insulin. Sucralose is said to have little to no effect on blood sugar and insulin levels. However, this may depend on you as an individual and whether you're used to consuming artificial sweeteners. One small study in 17 severely obese people who did not regularly consume artificial sweeteners reported that sucralose elevated blood sugar levels by 14% and insulin levels by 20%. On the other hand, several other studies in healthy, normal weight people have found no effects on blood sugar and insulin levels. Um, however, these studies included people who regularly consumed sucralose. So if you don't consume it on a regular basis, it's possible that you may experience some blood sugar and insulin level changes. But if you're used to having sucralose, then it probably won't have any effect. Baking with sucralose may be harmful. Splenda is considered to be heat resistant and good for cooking and baking. Yet recent studies have shown that at high temperatures, uh, it starts to break down and interact with other ingredients. One study found that heating sucralose with glycerol, the backbone of fat molecules, produced harmful substances called chloropropanols. Now these substances are linked to an increased risk of cancer. Much more research is needed before we can say anything definite, but in the meantime it may be best to use other sweeteners instead when baking at temperatures above 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. Sucralose may affect gut health. The friendly bacteria in your gut are really important for overall health. They may improve digestion, benefit immune function, and reduce the risk of many serious diseases. Interestingly, one rat study found that sucralose may have negative effects on these bacteria. After 12 weeks, rats that consumed the sweetener had significantly reduced levels of beneficial bacteria like bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, while the more harmful bacteria seemed to be less affected. And what's more, the gut bacteria had still not returned to normal 12 weeks after the experiment was finished. Now this occurred with a sucralose dose of between 1.1 milligrams per kilo and 11 milligrams per kilo. Now the US FDA um, approves up to five milligrams per kilo uh, as safe. So some of the rats were on a dose uh, equivalent to what is realistic for a human to consume as well. Nevertheless, this was a study on rats. So uh, human trials, human studies are needed before we can make any absolute statements um, about this. Does sucralose make you gain or lose weight? Products that contain zero calorie sweeteners are often marketed as being good for weight loss. However, sucralose and artificial sweeteners don't seem to have any major effects on your weight. Uh, observational studies find no connection between artificial sweetener consumption and body weight or fat mass, but some of them report a small increase in body mass index or BMI. A review of randomized controlled trials, which is the gold standard of research, uh, reports that artificial sweeteners reduce body weight by around 1.7 pounds or zero 0.8 kilos on average. Uh, so statistically significant, yes, but clinically relevant, not so much. Um, an extra 1.7 pounds overall in the long run um, is quite underwhelming. Ultimately, the long-term health effects uh, are still not clear and uh, you know, authorities like the FDA uh, have approved it safe to eat. If you enjoy the taste of sucralose and your body handles it well, then it's really probably fine to use. But if you have persistent problems related to gut health, I'd probably be looking at an alternative, um, the same if you use it for baking and cooking. If you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the uh, red subscribe button below this video and then you can catch all our new videos as they come out.